Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, as you can see, I am reviewing this product here from this brand from Amazon. Um, the links and everything will be in the description box, so check out that if you want to purchase. So as you can see, this is what you get in the box. We've got 20 polishes, um, like colours, and then you've got plus three, which is like base and top, stuff like that. I've just got a peel-off base coat on my left hand that is just drying, which is why I'm holding my hand weird with the left hand, because I want to be able to do something with the colours. So I have opened it and had a little sneak peek. Um, I haven't opened any of the colours properly, but I just have opened it and had a look inside. So this is what you get in the box. The box itself is really pretty, actually. Love the um, like the floral effect sort of box. Very pretty. So we've got a little leaflet here. Let's have a look what this says. So it looks like I'm just. It's really difficult to use your hands when one hand is wet, but this is what you get open it up and then you get an application i've just caught that nail okay i've just very quickly tweaked those nails and painted them again um so we get an application guide of how to apply them removal guide and then some some questions and answers as well so i'll just pop those there for you to have a quick look through um like so and then we can have a look at the colors so included, obviously, we've got all these colours here, which you can see the colours briefly from the lids. And then we've also got a top coat. They are five mil bottles. We've got a top coat, a matte top coat and a base coat. And I love these size bottles um, for like practising nail designs on tips and stuff like that, because obviously you don't need a great deal of them. Um, and it's really good to have lots of lots of colours, but you don't need a, like a huge amount of the colours. So I'm just going to turns out using your hands when you've only got one is actually really difficult i'm just gonna open this one just because it's the first one i picked up accidentally just messed about with the brightness so sorry about that i just wanted to zoom in there we go but here is the first one it's a beautiful like really bright pink color it's absolutely stunning um so we've got i'm gonna go through all of them in order this time instead of just randomly showing you one so i'm just gonna quickly show you them all I'll pause as I open the bottles and stuff just so it's not really long because I'm going to do a design with them as well. So we've got this one. This is number one. Um, and it's this beautiful nudie pink colour. Absolutely stunning. Then we've got number two, which is a solid, just normal white. Obviously, every collection needs a white. Um, it's like the go-to colour. And then we've got number three three which is this beautiful coral corals are always popular in the summer and spring next up is this what seems to be orange yeah brighter coral it's basically a lot like number three but like just a bit more vivid and a bit deeper color and then we've got number five which i already just showed you which is the pink and then we've got a red again every collection needs a strong red then we've got number seven, which is this brown colour. It's absolutely stunning. It's like a grey brown. It's very pretty, lovely, neutral. Then we've got number eight, which is a beautiful baby pink. I don't know about yours or you, but my clients absolutely love baby pinks. They're very, very popular. Number nine is what seems to be a pale blue. Yeah, beautiful. It's actually more of a minty blue um, off camera, but it's still stunning either way. Next up, we've got number 10, which is this, which is just beautiful. And in person, it looks really blue on camera again, but it's much more of like a Tiffany sort of colour. It's really pretty. Number 11 is a darker blue. Oh, I love this. This is right up my street. I love colours like this. And it actually looks really true to colour on camera as well. Next, we've got this blue, which is like more of like a proper... Oh, I've just knocked my camera back. It's more of like a proper royal blue. It looks quite purpley on camera, but it is very, very blue. Number 13 is a yellow, very bright yellow. Number 14 is, oh wow, I wasn't expecting that from the lid, but that is actually beautiful. It's very difficult to see on camera, but it's a deep like jade green colour. Very, very pretty. Number 15 is this purple. It's like an aubergine purple. It's very, very nice. I love colours like this actually. This is beautiful and it would go really nice with that blue, number 11. This one is number 16 and, oh, is a glitter. This is what we're all here for really, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. So sparkly. It's got hollow pieces in it. It's very pretty. Let's just get it to focus. Stunning. Love that. 
then I think this is a gold glitter next, 17. Yeah, we've got a nice gold glitter as well. You get a real good array of colours in this set, to be honest. You get like all your solid, like necessity colours, like red, white, stuff like that. Um, black, we've got to come as well. And then obviously you get some creamy colours like this one. You get some brights like the yellow and the, the corals at the start. So it's a really good array of colours. Really helpful for nail art purposes as well when you just need a pop of colour here and there. And we've got a nice pale blue. That is beautiful. That's like a true pale blue as well, not like the minty one of number nine. And then last but not least, we've got number 20, which like I said, we've got a black to come. And this is the black absolutely stunning so that's all those obviously we've got base coat let's have a look at the oh, consistency it's really difficult to use your nails when they're wet so this is the base which is obviously typically a bit runnier we've got a matte top coat as well i'm really struggling to open them with my wet nails which always just have that like hue of sort of yellow. I'm not sure why, but obviously that's just the way matte top coats are made. They all have the same thing. And then we've got a top coat as well, which is thicker than the base. As you can see, much better consistency for a top coat. So that's all of the colours. I'm going to use some to do some design on my nails. I have got a hair on this one, which is very annoying, but it was dried by the time I saw it. So I just sort of left it because it was more effort than... There's more effort to get it off. We've got a bit of glitter over here as well, so just ignore that. So I'm basically just going to decant some of the colours onto a palette. Um, I'm just going to do something really abstract here, I think, because I want to use as many colours as I can. And the easiest way to do that is to do abstract, because then you can just like put a little swipe of lots of colours on. I've got hiccups, so just ignore that. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop some colours onto my palette. I'll just do that now, sped up quickly. Okay, so I've got the colours on my palette. I've got black and white because obviously you always need them. And then I've picked six out here that all just sort of go together nicely. So I'm just going to get a nail art brush. I'll probably use a bit of glitter as well, actually. So let's pop some of that on the palette as well because you always need a bit of glitter, don't you? Especially this one, it's so pretty. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the glitter first, I think. Um, just to get some on each nail so I'm just going to go straight in with my nail art brush this is what it looks like it's just a it's just a, a number six gel brush and I'm going to go into the glitter and just literally pop a random amount on each nail like so and I'm just going to spread it out a little bit more so it's not too thick I want it to cure properly obviously Like so, and then I'm gonna pop that into the lamp for a full cure. That is so pretty. So I'm now just gonna just literally just plonk some colour on each nail, basically. So I'm gonna go in first of all with my blue. I'm just gonna do a random swipe of colour, like so, and then I'm gonna go in with the purple and I'll do the same thing on the same nail but just somewhere else, like so. And then I'm going to go on to the next nail. And this time I'm going to do the purple again. Just make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to clean off my brush and go into the pink. Covering that glitter a little bit, just have it a bit layered. And then I'm just going to get the pink off my brush. I'm going to go in with that same pink. On the one next to it and then I'm gonna go in with the red oh this red's nice nice and vibrant and then on the pinky I'm gonna do the red again I've got a bit of acetone on my brush it's a bit watered down there we go 
and then I'm going to go in with the coral colour. So the only one I didn't use out of all those was the baby pink, just because it didn't come into it basically, but it's fine. So that's those so far. I'm going to pop them into the lamp for a full cure again. And then I'm going to use this brush, which I have purposely ruined for this task basically. As you can see, it's all ruined. So I'm just going to very gently dip that into my black. And I'm going to use that brush to dab on some random patches basically. You just want to really make sure that your brush is battered. Like so. I just realised I probably wasn't even in a shot there, but I'm going to do it again anyway. So I'm just taking some on the brush, dotting off the excess because you don't want loads. But you just want to really mash your brush up like this. Make sure that all the bristles are spread out and just ruined basically. That was the aim of the game with this. You don't want a lot of bristles on there either, so I actually have cut quite a few off this brush. I'm just going to cut a couple more, just so it's not really thick. And then very gently just go into your black and then just pat it on basically, just very randomly. You'll get this splatter effect, which is really cool. Like so. And once I've done that, I'm going to cure those. I'm going to clean off my brush to get the black off it. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the white. So once they're out, I'm going to go into my white and do the same thing. And it's just going to brighten the nails up a little bit because obviously the black's made them a bit darker now. really gently popping those over the top like so and we get that really cool abstract effect and then I'm going to pop those into the lamp and top coat and I'll come back and show you what they look like when they're done okay so I'm actually going to top coat on camera just because obviously we're using a new top coat and it'd be nice to see what the consistency is like I'm just going to grab that Very good. Got a few bristles that are just popping out the bottom and making it quite difficult to get a nice neat top coat application. So I'm just going to go in and snip those down and that should make it much easier. Yeah, there we go. It's much better. I'm just popping that all over the nails and then I will cure this. Pop a bit of cuticle oil on and we can see the finished look. So here is the finished look. I absolutely love how they turned out. Very pretty and the colours are just beautiful to be honest. They're all, obviously we used all of those but there's lots more in here for you to get through anyway. Perfect for nail art purposes because obviously like I said you don't need a lot of the, the colours. You just need a lot of colours basically if that makes any sense let's just zoom out a bit but yeah so these look really really cute the box is just beautiful um mainly just because of all the flowers and stuff very pretty but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching um and yeah i have loved using these thank you so much to this brand for sending them to me actually i keep going to sign off my videos before I've actually removed the nail so let's see if I can get these off oh that was easy ah oh, I love it when it's that easy so I had to take them off to be honest because I love this design this is actually something that I'd wear as well it's right up my street I do love an abstract design I'm not gonna lie in fact I'd go as far as saying I think it's my favorite type of nail art to do that is how much I love abstract There we go, that's that off. Sad to see it go. We have to make room for more nail art. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another one. Bye.